Hi everyone, um, I'm Joelle Rock. Uh, you know me from my Facebook page. And uh, a lot of you, I know several of you anyway, um, wonders how I manage to get top looks as often as I do. Um, first of all, uh, I didn't always do that. <laughs> I played for nine months before I got my first top look. And after a lot of, um, why why was I not getting them for nine months straight? I was like, this doesn't make sense. I'm getting uh, top look like looks, but I wasn't getting the top looks. Well, give you a little history. I started playing the game in uh, towards the end of fall 2014. So I started playing a little after the the app had its first anniversary. And um, when I started playing, you never saw low-level players getting top looks. It was just totally unheard of. Um, I did my share of whining and crying because I just didn't get it. Um, after about nine months of playing, um, and having run pretty much a fairly successful uh, inspiration group on my own, um, it kind of went to the wayside when cloning started. Uh, cloning, if y'all don't know by now, is where a group, a stylist or a group of stylists would get together, come up with an outfit, and then people would uh, copy them per pervatum. I mean, just down to the skin color, the hair color, everything. Um, I actually got my first top look before that started, um, and I kept my group for quite a while, but when cloning went to the wayside, uh, came to the forefront, I guess you could say, um, I had a fairly successful group. It was just a bunch of great ladies that would share scores together, um, just like there are many other uh, groups out there that do the very same thing, um, but my group wasn't extremely big. It was just a pretty close-knit uh bunch of ladies that had just discovered each other and our love for cut fashion and we did really good but I wasn't getting top looks um, I had several players including a guy who got really good scores all the time and top looks after top looks and I was like man how are y'all doing this I even went so far as to um, ask one of my friends, you know, um, I don't know how you do it. I need someone like you to teach me how. And she really just took it as a compliment that, um, that she was just really good. And I was kind of serious. Like I really need someone to teach me and I'm not going to point fingers. Um, but there was a group out there that, uh, somebody recommended to me and I went and I checked it out and I was only with them for about a week when my friend found out that I was with this group and she was like I really don't recommend you being in there um, she had her reasons which again I'm not gonna say who it was um, but I told her I said you know I'm kind of really desperate by now I mean I've, I've been playing for nine months I'm getting what top looks I'm, I'm making looks like top looks but I'm not getting the scores and all I keep hearing from people is hair and makeup, hair and makeup, hair and makeup. And again, when I did start playing, it wasn't heard of um, for low level players to make top look. But that doesn't mean that I shouldn't have been still getting high scores. So she actually agreed to mentor me and she started telling me about how the group um, I'm sorry, the game was more of a trend-based uh, application more than it is a creative, do-your-own-thing uh, kind of game. Um, <clears throat> when I started playing, yes, I was getting looks that were a lot like top looks, but I was still on some events it's like okay this is a nice casual look and I'm gonna put together something that I would wear and it would bomb and I'm like what 
<laughs> I have good style. I know this. People have been telling me my whole life. But I come into this game and I'm failing and failing and failing. And I'm like, this is just not me. I don't fail at anything. Overachiever here. And it was, it was blowing me away. And I kept playing thinking if I play it long enough, I'll figure out the system and I'll start winning. <clears throat> well, this was true. Um, with my friend's help, she got me started in the right direction, got me to understand it's a game of trends, and then recommended me to a group that she thought would be beneficial for me. And so she added me to the group, and I started checking it out, and lo and behold, a month later, I got my first top look. Um, I can even show you my very first top look ever. If you have not seen it, there are my top looks. And yes, you see 90 top photos in there. I've had 90 top looks. This is my first, my very first top look. And guess what? It was the trend dress. This is the dress that was all over top look on that event. But then my second top look was not the trend. This was actually the only look on the floor that made TL uh, like mine. All the rest of them were way different than my girl. So that kind of opened my eyes up a little bit. It's like, okay... I can do my own thing and still get a top look, but that's because she fit the event, Winter Samurai. And first of all, I don't know no samurai that we wear in a skirt, but uh, that skirt was actually trending for this event. So I took that skirt and I made the outfit my own. So doing your own thing can pay off doing your own thing can also get you a lot of failing scores. So, my first advice to getting top looks is the same piece of advice that my friend gave me. And that would be top look forecasting and research. This is a group that was started by Jen Coran about three years ago. And it is an inspiration group, but it is, is inspiration like you've not seen before. It is Top Look Forecast and Research Lab. Now, this is actually, for anybody who's not in TLR, um, this is an unprecedented look at what this group does. Typically, we do not share our forecasts or our analysis to anyone outside the group. Um, we are not by any means exclusive, but we have our own way of doing things here. And so if you want our insight, you need to be in our group. So what we do in TLR, and if you hear me say they, they refers to the forecasting team. Uh, my team is the after the top looks. Forecasting is before the top looks. So forecasting happens by the forecaster going out into covet land, what we call covet land. That is the other inspiration groups that are out there, and there are a lot. Um, our teams have their own own groups that they go visit um, and we don't go out and steal looks we don't go out and find somebody else's look and say hey copy this because that's not what we do what we do is we go out and we see what the trends are the trends are set by us but we won't know the trends unless we do our homework and it can get very tedious to do our homework for every single event that's where TLR comes in. We do the homework for you and we give you a basic rundown of what is seen in other inspiration groups. 
and this could be groups that are out there that just post the uh, event pick and post your inspirations and results I had my own group that did the same thing it wasn't anything fancy we just were a group of women that wanted to play covet together and that's what a lot of the groups out there are today yes there are a lot of clone groups out there now too but uh, TLR is not a clone group we have stated multiple times that we are not a clone group we don't advocate or um, deny that it's something that any of our members can do they just can't do it in our group because that's not what we're all about so back to the forecast our uh, forecaster will go out and see what's going on see what's trending um, they I don't know their exact process but I've heard them talk here and there about how they all go in and if they see a look over and over and over again they'll screenshot it and they might screenshot five if there's only you know one or two looks that are dominant um, they may only just have to take those two and then they go to their own covet account and they will put a similar look together usually the basics we don't get um, jewelry uh, you, you know if you want to add socks or pantyhose or whatever um, the nitty-gritty is up to the player and we are also not saying that you have to follow the for forecast because you don't and you never know sometimes the forecasters a lot of times I should say the forecasters are pretty spot-on about what you're gonna see on the runway that's because they saw the trends um, I think the forecasters have a little bit more edge on people for that reason because they are going out and they are seeing exactly what's going on and you know forecasters will come in the chats and say look at that I got top look on my own forecast so you know that could be it for them for me it's a little bit different but I don't forecast but what you see here is three outfits completely different outfits for the engine room this is what they've seen and to me looking at it it's pretty wide in variety out there as far as the different looks are concerned but they're giving you a generalization of what they saw out there they might have mixed and matched what they saw they could even just put up there one that is their idea of a good look but they'll always tell you forecasters choice these are just ideas they don't always put together exact looks that are out there because they may have seen a wide variety so they'll put three or more uh, different outfits up there and you not have to choose every one of them you do not have to do them you don't have to do them at all you can do whatever you want but the closer you are to a forecast the better chances you have for a good score why because it's a trend game so if you hit the trends you your chances of having a better score um, will be better um, also the higher you get in the game also the better chances that you're gonna get however nowadays we do see low closet value players on the runway quite often actually so um, it's only pissing people off who've been playing as long as I have and knew that there was no way that a low closet value player should be on the runway I kind of gotten past that now but it sure did tick me off when it when I first saw low closet value players um, so it's that's not the case anymore anybody can get a TL as long as they are playing the game the way Covet intended it to be played um, it is a trending game so that's your first stop and that is always my first stop to making a look after I go in and uh, put a look together now I'm gonna go into one that I've actually already started doing but I'll still show you my process Uh, 
Okay. As soon as the game loads. There we go. Okay. The next look that I'm working on right now is a spring engagement. So what I do is I get into the game and I've already done so much. Um, I know the requirements on this round is Doves by Duran Paloma and the shoes are these shoes right here. You have to wear those shoes. And the jewelry is Doves by Duran. One of the most expensive jewelries out there. Not the only one anymore, but it used to be the only super expensive. Um, what I did is went in and see how uh, the jewelry, since there's only two requirements this time, um, I started going, going into it to do it, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to use this one, and so I kind of stopped. So... I've got my requirements. I know I have several pieces of the requirements necessary. You have to wear two doves by Duran and those shoes. So this one doesn't have an outfit that, you know, there's wear a white cotton top or wear a polyester um, schoolgirl uh, skirt. There's nothing like that in this one. So. If I want to get a good score, then I will go check the forecast. If I don't care about the good score, I'll just go in and put on whatever. But you know what? I'm a girl. I like diamonds. So I go and check out TLR. So we're going to go to TLR. And I'll show you a really fast way of finding it because, you know, there's there's uh, usually 8 to 10, I believe, forecasts on the, the run at a time. Sometimes you'll come across what you are looking for, which this is a spring engagement. So it was pretty high up because some, uh, People are probably commenting on it, which is keeping it high. But just in case that doesn't work for you, I will show you a shortcut. So up here you see info under the banner. Click on info. Scroll down until you see photos. Hit view all. And everything that's on the wall will show up right here. So you can usually just scroll through here and see whatever's on the the main feed the forecasts only go on the main feed and they are deleted as soon as the event goes into voting so you will always be able to find it right here and um, won't have to scroll for it if you're not up to that so you can click on the doll uh, I mean on the forecast and you can see what's being shown here uh, you have the one dress on the left that's showing the number one dress out there um, the second is in the middle, and then um, she did a look for the modern side and put the third dress on the modern doll. Now, forecasting, they do watch for modern and uh, classic. In analysis, which will come in a little bit here, we only do um, classic. One of the reasons is because the on the modern side, the makeup changes her skin tone and it's just it would be too tedious for our girls because there are six different skin tones and yeah so for the time being we've decided to just do classic that doesn't mean it's going to stay that way but um, I don't see it changing anytime soon so please don't hold that against us our forecasts still work so I see what's going on in here. I see what they're showing. And you see they're showing uh, the number one jewelry because it is a requirement. But typically, if jewelry isn't a requirement, they won't even bother with it. They're just looking at the main look. If there's a clutch involved in the requirements, they will generally show the top clutch or two clutches um, as well as the top 
outfit. So we see what's here and we go back into our game and yeah there we go and it'll refresh here so the trend is showing an orange dress so oh, wrong one I'm gonna go into dresses formal and the trend shows orange why probably because the shoes are orange and you know earth tones go with orange but orange goes with orange best than anything else <laughs> so I go into my thing and I see that I have won the number one dress so it's already in my closet so I could choose to go with it or I could choose one of the other trending dresses um, the way I work this now Doves by the Rand is expensive so I can get a lot of unworn for it the dress, the number one dress, is a 14, $10, 10 diamonds short of a 1400 diamond uh, dress that would completely maximize my unworn. This is one of the things you always want to try to make sure that you do. If you're going after the top look prize, you have to be maxed out on both your in season and your unworn. If you have to go out of season for an event, you will not get a top look. That doesn't mean you can't still get a top score, uh, I mean a, a perfect score. You just won't get a top look. But if you got a five, you got all three prizes. Some people are good with that. Some people are, you know, we're all girls and we all like diamonds. So that's what we do. Personally, I'm after the diamonds, so I'm going to maximize on each one. So going back to, actually I'm going to go ahead and throw that dress on her because that's the one I want to use. And I'm going to go back to the jewelry that's required and I'm going to reevaluate what I want to do. Because I know I have this bracelet that is unworn and the earrings that are unworn. I'm really wanting to keep the dress because it'll be great for a flashback where everything else that I need to use is worn and this would fit the event so I could maximize my <coughs> excuse me my flashback event with just the dress so I'm going to try to keep it my preference right now is to use the uh, the bracelet because it is a thousand and so I only have to come up with 400 more. So I'm going to go back to the dress. I'm going to borrow the dress. So I'm going to go back to dresses, formal, color orange, so I don't have to scroll forever. And I'm going to go to the borrow, and I'm going to pick a friend. And right now, I actually know that she owns this dress because I actually looked earlier. And there's the dress. So I'm going to unwear it, and then I'm going to rewear it and now it's borrowed now my last piece to put this together for it to be maximized was this clutch now I'm gonna tell you for formal events if you need to use a bag use a clutch you very rarely see handbags totes backpacks although it's not unseen to be on a formal event <clears throat> so that's a good piece of advice for you because I used to put shoulder bags and now shoulder bags are a little bit more accepted but when I first started playing the games shoulder bags was a curse you did not want to use them totes and clutches only that's not so much the case today it's kind of relaxed a little bit but clutches for formals are still my first go-to. So I go to clutches and I see this orange one right here that actually looks pretty good with the outfit. However, it doesn't help me max. I'm still short of my unworn. Now, for anybody who hasn't realized this yet, if you go into submit and you go into enter, uh, just make sure that your garment's available to boost shows that you have available to boost and click on it and up here at the top 
<clears throat> excuse me, it says the item must be at least $82 and match 2017. So it's telling me how much I need to max. So 92 isn't a whole lot. So I can either choose to boost it, which sometimes I do, mostly if I'm in a hurry. I try to make sure that it's maxed without using anything, but you know, to each his own on that respect. Uh, I choose to look for another bag. And this bag right here, the Camilla Spirit Animal, it's got orange in it. Nice little orange tassel there. It goes well with the dress. It is 140 diamonds higher than I need to boost, but I'm okay with that because I already own it. I want it. So I don't. Here's my whole entire look. Haven't had to spend a penny. But the hair. The hair. The hair and the makeup. The hair and the makeup. These are the things that were pounded into my head that I kept saying BS. <laughs> well, now I know it's not BS. It is true. So you really want to pay attention to hair and makeup. Some events can go with an updo or long hair. Some events you're only going to see updos. Some events you're only going to see long hair or loose hair. Casual events generally are down. It's weddings, almost always with the hair up. Not all the time, but it does happen where sometimes you get lower hair. So how do I decide my hair and my makeup? This is where my secret weapon comes into play. So I'm going to back back out of Covet, and I'm going to go back to TLR. Now, right now, we're in the albums. Um, the albums are where the analysis side of TLR comes in. What we do in analysis is we break down the numbers for top looks of every single event out there. We go in and we count hair hair color, makeup, and skin tone. We have also uh, added accessories. The um, hair accessories that they've been giving us, those now are in our analysis as well. So if we see them in the top looks, then they go in our analysis. And you can start, I have start seeing a trend with certain things. Um, a lot of times if the cover picture has accessories then it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to use those accessories because they're pretty popular if nobody has realized it they are extremely popular um so this is where all of our analysis go we don't put the analysis on the main feed because there are way too many of them we have them all the way back to when the team started uh, let's see, I didn't tell you exactly when this started. There's a lot of scrolling going on here. I can never remember exactly when they started. Wow, the first season, they didn't even have seasons. See, I told you I haven't been with them since the beginning. Uh, first one that's labeled with the year is Summer 2015. So I believe they started around January of 2015. I came into them shortly after that. And then um, July uh, 2015 is when I got my first top look. Only a month after joining TLR and I was not working with them yet. So that in itself should show you that if you follow TLR, your scores are gonna improve exponentially. Um, as long as you follow the trends. So, uh, as I was saying before, we do our analysis and we post them in these albums. Now, they will go on the main feed, but they'll only stay on the main feed as long as people are commenting on them. They get pushed down with more analysis, um, but you can, as you saw me scroll through all the way back to summer 2015, you can go back and look at past seasons and see what did well, as well as the season. So we assign folders to every analysis so that it would make them easier for you guys to find. And this is where you're gonna find 
all the information that we find on an event. So I'm going to pull up this one right here and you'll see this is the original matchmaker and it was the first fantasy event for this season and this is what we came up with. We counted the numbers. We see that the top dress was 80%. The second dress was 15%. That was only 5% that were most likely individual looks. Like I said, individual looks can make them. I still get very unique looks on the runway, but I follow the trends and still manage to stay unique quite often. So you see we count the hair and the makeup and we give you the top percentages of that on the main collage. But if you go into the comments, you'll see, oh this is one that I actually did myself. Um, we put the original forecast in the, uh, in the event and then the requirements and prizes and then below that you will see the actual rundown. So we do label a little bit of the clothing, usually if it's a requirement. Some of the girls don't, I don't care if they don't. When I first started uh, analyzing, we did the hair, I mean the clothing, and I'm an extreme OCD creature of habit, so I still tend to count clothes, but I don't do quite as much. We never count jewelry, even if it's a requirement, so that won't be there either. But what is there is the breakdown. You get what was exact percentages and you see cascading curls for this event and mermaid braids for this event. And then you go down to the makeup and smoldering eyes, pink gloss, feather lashes. It's been a little bit since this event so the trends have changed slightly. Smoldering Eyes is still one of the top makeups in Covet right now. Feather Lashes, usually they're back and forth or they're neck and neck, um, unless it's a dark event. Um, they're very, very popular. And again, it's the trends. And the hair and makeup can make or break your look. So I highly recommend you looking at each event, realizing what type of event it is. Um, to even go so far as to go look in the folders and, and peruse them as much as you can to see what's trending for that type of event. You know, you have an event coming up, you want to know what's been trending, go into that event, you'll see the folder that it's in, um, you know, because you know you know this is a cupid so it's going to be in fantasy so you go to the fantasy folder and you scroll through and see what's popular uh trends can also cross those lines too um because i will see smoldering eyes and feather lashes in almost every single event that i have done uh analysis on for the past three months maybe four since they come out uh, since they were updated. Feather lashes never used to be really popular until they re, uh, refabbed it, uh, whatever the, the word is. My mind just went blank. Um, but if you follow them, if you follow the analysis, you can see what's going to go well with what. So this is... Uh, I think this is a formal event. I didn't even pay attention what the event was. Um, let's see. Spring had always been like a season of new beginnings. Oh, she's getting going to an engagement party. And she's actually the bride-to-be. So, it's a formal party. So, here's something I want to show you that you can look at. We'll give you a little bit more idea of what to use. Um, you're going to have to scroll down into um, 2016. And I am looking for a folder. Oh, here we go. It is right after royalty 
of uh, 20, winter 2016. Top scoring hair and makeup. And give me just a second because um, my battery is dying. I need to plug in. Okay. So I lost it doing this. I got to go back. Go back to albums. Sorry about this, guys. I was already there. Okay. I went too far. There we go. Okay, I got it again. Okay, so you see top scoring hair and makeup. Click on that. And there are multiple collage collages in here. Uh, courtesy of Jen Coran and Chris. Um they have been kind enough to put these collages together to give us a better idea of what goes well with what type of event. So the first one I'm going to bring up is bridal. So you see it's mostly updos. That doesn't say that there's not going to be a bride out there wearing down hair. Sometimes the trends will say long hair, long loose hair. But you're going to get a decent score most likely as long as you follow the trends that is um, going to be an updo and personally there are several updos in there that I just have a really hard time with and I don't really use them um, but I see other people who do so this is where you're following the trends slash following your own idea can pay off either way it goes um, I've done my fair share of losing, so <laughs> don't think that I don't. Uh, just this morning, I got a 4.32 because I went way off the beaten path. Um, I knew that, taking a chance with it, but hey, I've gotten a lot of unique top looks, so it's not to say that it can't happen because it can. Um, here we are at cocktail. Cocktail is usually fancy formal down hair. Um, we have the dark side, stuff that does well on dark events. Um, the hair is usually always black, some tipped with silver. Sometimes they'll actually be all gray. If it's a ghost, they will use white hair. So it just depends on the event and what's going on with the event. And we have them for every, uh, type of event that's out there so you see we have our sci-fi hair sci-fi hair will usually be different colors um, this is where your creativity can really blossom as far as the hair and makeup but we show um, pretty much for every genre of what's good there's our fitness um, there's outdoors um, now for outdoors and outdoors with layers the hair usually matches up so um, we only have one outdoors, but this will work um, for either one of them. Your punk alternative. Punk alternative is more edgy hair and can also be colored. So I think you're probably getting the gist of what it is that um, does make analysis uh, work for everybody. Because you can go in and see what works for an event, but then you can from the forecast see what's trending in the clothing and then use past analysis to see what's actually trending as far as those hair hairstyles and um, makeup colors come in um, it's definitely my secret weapon I think since I started doing analysis with TLR just getting into TLR helped it really did. So I'm not saying that you have to do analysis to get the scoop, but I think it's been my secret weapon on how many TLs I've had because I do a lot of analysis. I really do. When in, when there's girls missing, when I'm down several analysts like I am right now, um, I'm trying to beat out those analysis as much as I can between taking my grandfather to his doctor's appointments, taking me to my own doctor's appointments, through falling asleep sitting up because 
that's what happens to me now is, you know, with my own medical issues, I fell asleep last night and missed two events in a row. I never missed the daily. I missed the daily last night. Um, <laughs> that was really irritating because I have two accounts and I do get these top looks on both accounts. Um, more on my first one because I usually use my first one more for the trends and my second one for the less trendy or I use my more creative style on this because, you know, I really want the better prizes on my first account more than my second account. <laughs> I have a method to my madness. But um, all the analysis that I do really, really gives me a heads up. And even if I wasn't doing so many analysis, I would still go in and look at every single event uh, that, that is analyzed. And I highly recommend that you do that because it is going to give you such a leap and bound over other people who are not in TLR and seeing what we do. You're just going to be amazed. Remember, one month after I joined, I got my first TL. One week after that, I got my second TL. Three days after that, I got my third TL. I have dry spells. They are few and far between. Um, I get two to three, sometimes four to five top looks in a month. Um, the last two days, yesterday and the day before, I got top looks one day right after the other. So, you know, take heed. If you would like to join TLR, if you're not already a member, comment on this uh, video and I'll get you hooked up. If you're already in TLR, um, you're probably only looking at the forecasts. You need to look at the analysis as well. They are very educational for this game. Um, if by some chance anybody that's watching um, is good with numbers and can work a simple spreadsheet, oh my goodness, and oh, uh, doesn't have a problem collaging and can give up anywhere from 45 minutes to two hours to spend on an event um, God I could use some help <laughs> uh, if you're wanting if you would like to pitch in and help give me a message and I will PM you so um, I hope this helped um, I know I didn't go back into the event and do my hair yet I haven't decided which way I'm gonna go with it I like to put a little bit more thought into it but you see my process, and um, I'm telling you, TLR is the way to go, 100% in my opinion. Um, there are other great groups out there, and there are a few that have um, emulated us, but we were number one uh, to start with the forecasting, and you know, if you have preference for another group, Pay attention to what they're saying because, you know, they're probably not far off from what we do, but we've been doing it longer. We have a very dedicated group of ladies that, that work tirelessly and endlessly for the last three years to put this together for our members and kind of like to see you there. And don't forget to share your scores and your inspirations because we like to see a lot of group involvement. So... Thanks for watching. Um, I hope this helped you guys. Feel free to ask, ask any questions. Um, I will do my best to answer them. And uh, happy styling.